honest question for you. Does your chat ever trigger you? All joking aside, it can be for memes, it can be for whatever you want. I was just actually watching one of my friends streaming the other day called The Warship. The link will be down below. And I saw him having this as a channel point and I thought it was really funny and I thought it might be something that you guys might want to, you know, figure out how to do. So let's jump into it. <laughs> This video is brought to you by Mistlink. If you've been looking for a way to get all of your social profiles on one single page, Mistlink is the best way how to do it. There's so much customization options. It's completely free to use, but there is also a premium as well. And one random person who uses me as their referral will get premium completely for free forever. Check out Mistlink down the link below. So usually with my tutorials, I give you the scene as a JSON format and you just import it, but this is quite basic. So we're just going to build it together. So the way I'm doing this is that it's just going to a different scene where the effect is played, but you can just have this on top of anything else that you might want to do. But just for simplicity, this is how we're going to do it. We have two scenes here one camera and one called triggered. Your camera is where your actual video import source is going to live. This is how you create a nested scene basically. And you want this to be pretty much default. You want to create a new scene then, call it whatever you want. I have a call triggered here, for example. The triggered image will be linked down below. Basically what you want to do is after you create this new scene, you do need the stream effects plugin installed. But once you have that, press the little plus and you're going to want to create a source mirror. Create a source mirror, call it whatever you want, and then just make sure the source that you're actually going to pull it from, make sure you pull it from your actual camera. Once you create the camera, just right click on it and go down into filters. And what I have done here is a color grading filter just to make it a bit red. You can use any other type of plugin or any other way you want to do to make it red. This is literally just how I'm making it red. As normal then, you can just add in the triggered image just by right clicking, add, and just add the image there. You want to go back up to the scene that you just created triggered, Right click on that and specifically go into the filters. For this, you'll need the shader filter plugin. Link will be down below. It's not as easy as other OBS plugins. You do need to go into the GitHub, go into the releases, but I will link exactly where to go. And there's also a really, really good Andy Lippy video on how to get it up and running. So I'll link to that too. But to be honest, it's not very much needed. Just want to right click, add new, and I'm going to use the defined shader. Call it whatever you want. You want to load the shader from a text file. Click browse, go to zoom blur, and it's going to start looking like this. I recommend turning on the use slider inputs, and then you can start playing with how many samples, and you can start playing with the magnitude, everything like that. There's one thing to know, however, is that to get the glitching effect, you do want to be a little bit careful with this. And then this little glitch button right here is actually what's going to make it glitch. Now, you do really want to be careful though, and make sure that none of your viewers have epilepsy, because if you set this to some sort of crazy thing, it's possible, you know, it might have a negative effect on someone. So it's really, really good to make sure that there is maybe some sort of warning, depending on how heavy you're going with the effect. Having a regular chat timer, just to let your viewers know, it's like, hey, you know, some of my channel points may have a negative impact with those who have epilepsy, or maybe even just some type of little, just two second warning beforehand, something audible, something like that, just to let them know when it starts and when it stops. We all love to have fun on streams, but you also need to take care of the people who are in there. I find that my settings here are quite moderate, though obviously everyone's a little different, but here's my settings anyway, in case you want to use them. And that's pretty much it, to be honest with you. If you enjoyed the video, do not forget to hit like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And don't forget to check out Miss Link. Link is down below. Peace.